Hello everyone, I am super excited because I have a great project for you guys today. Welcome to Gazelle Creative Studio, my name is Uriel. Please subscribe to this channel because I will be bringing great projects, creativity and inspiration. Today I am part of the uh, What Will You Make collaboration. As host, we have Connie's Woodshop and DIYs and Rustic and Lace DIY. As guest host, we have App All Night DIY. The link to their channels and the playlist will be in the description box below. For this project, we're going to need four of these uh, beaten wreaths, a solid wooden round and a smaller wooden round, a doorknob like this, and some paint. First, I am going to paint in black this wooden round. This piece came from Michael's and the rest of the materials from Dollar Tree. This piece is a little bigger than the other one. I am making a circle on this wooden piece because I need to drill 8 holes to insert the beaded wreaths. The small wooden round will cover all the imperfections. I will explain more in a little bit. Here is my base for the lantern. The 8 holes were made in diagonal to follow the circumference of the wreaths. Also, I made some groovy lines on the other side to hide the wires. Using my pliers, I will get the reeds undone and make the wire ends straight to put them through the wooden base. Also, I will be removing some beads and keep an even number of them. As the wire is through, I will bend the wire end a little bit to keep it in place. I am going to do this for all the beaded wreaths. If you like this type of videos, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future releases. A big thank you to all my subscribers. To bring the lantern together and be able to hang it, I will be using this cord, also from Dollar Tree.
Next, I will count the beads to make sure I create a center for the cord and the hanging loop. Now, I need to make any necessary adjustments to make sure that each width is nice and tight. We don't want any loose beads. I have to mention that I created this piece last year, and sadly, I lost all the footage. It was really sad and I knew I had to create a new one. Also, Dollar Tree didn't have the beaded weeds for a while, and I had to wait and redo everything all over again. At the end of this video, you will see photos for both lanterns. Finally, we need to attach the doorknob and glue the smaller wooden round to the base of the lantern to hide all the imperfections. And we're almost done with this beautiful round bearded lantern. Are you ready for the final reveal? What do you think of this lantern? Do you like the black one or the natural one? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share.